30 days after starting to track this lake with eOceans, we help save it. In this video, I'll explain how we track the lake and convince decision makers to investigate and take action. By the end, you will see the value of using eOceans to track the coastlines that your community loves. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Dr. Christine Wardpage. I'm a marine scientist and the founder of eOceans the ocean platform that automatically analyzes your ocean data when you log it in the eOceans app so that smart decisions can be made to protect the coastlines that you love. As you are all well aware, animals and people around the world depend on aquatic ecosystems like lakes, rivers, and the ocean. This is especially true in urban areas where the land continues to be paved and waterways get buried. Maynard Lake in Nova Scotia, Canada is one such lake that is used by local and migrating birds, fish, turtles, amphibians, and more. It's also used by the community for skating, swimming, boating, fishing, mental well-being, and much more. The wetlands that surround the perimeter of the lake provide habitat for species, clean the water, and they store carbon. 30 days ago, I started using the eOceans mobile app to track this lake. I did this for three main reasons. The first is, that as the founder of eOceans, I wanted to test different features of the mobile app for collecting data offline in the field. The lake is much closer than the ocean, so that allows me to test much more easily in real life. The second reason is that many people have inquired about using eOceans to track freshwater ecosystems, including fish, invasive species, pollution, and socioeconomic values. I wanted to know how well it does and where the limitations may be. For the third reason, my community loves this lake, and I thought it would be great to get a baseline of the animals and people that use it. It might come in handy in the case of something bad happening to it in the future, such as pollution, climate change, water extraction. I designed and set up a project called We Love Maynard Lake and put it in the eOceans platform. This is what it looks like in the dashboard. I created my own standardized sampling strategy where I would simply sit my butt on a log and take a sample, where a sample involves launching the eOceans app on my phone and taking a picture in the same direction, logging any animals I saw, as well as the human dimensions, activities, litter, environmental conditions like weather. I set the sampling frequency as often. I didn't specify how often, I just aiming for weekly, I thought. I would also add opportunistic observations whenever I was there of people, animals, and other issues on the fly. In week one, everything seemed relatively normal. I really only expected to find seasonal changes, so this was not very interesting. However, I did find it interesting that all the excess rainwater we had received during Hurricane Fiona had disappeared. So the water was back, already back to normal. I assumed evaporation and refilling the water table had happened. In week two, I noticed, however, that the lake level was lower than I'd ever seen in the previous seven years of living here, even though it was only about five inches at this point, since it followed exceptionally high rains after Fiona, this was a total of 10 inches that was lost in just over a week. I posted my observation in a local Facebook group. One person suggested that this could be the reason that a bunch of, that they have found a bunch of dead fish in one area. So I called the Water Utility Corporation to let them know, and I increased the sampling interval to daily or twice daily in the eOceans app. In week three, I documented the lake level continuing to fall. By this stage, it was about one and a half feet lower than normal. By this time, all the wetland habitats that surround the perimeter of the lake had nearly dried out. I called the Water Utility again to remind them and to see if an investigation had been done yet. By week four, I had documented a two and a half foot loss in water level in just 22 days. It was now falling about five inches per day. The water level had fallen well below the rocks that we always trip over in the summer. It had also dried out all the wetland areas around the perimeter of the lake. The birds were no longer bathing or feeding along the shoreline in the mornings or afternoons as they had done previously. I was concerned for the wildlife, but I also selfishly was concerned that we'd lose the lake for winter skating or summer swimming. We haven't had a lot of rain in recent years, so this could take a long time to fill it back up. 
I alerted a few other people in the community, two of which had already reached out to the city councillor and the water utility. They immediately jumped on the horn again with the water utility and the federal, provincial and municipal government representatives. In our communications, we included images of my e oceans logs, which included location and time stamped images of the lake that clearly documented the dramatic draining of water level. One official still said it must be natural in origin because the water utility said there was no break in their dams. A few hours later, however, the action began. At that moment, enough of the right people were talking about it and armed with the e oceans logs, they moved into action. Within two hours, they had found the issue. A water dam had broken and was leaking this water. My estimate is that we were losing about 8 million liters of water per day. My community loves Maynard Lake for many reasons. Now we'll anxiously wait for the rain to refill it now that the dam has been fixed. I'm so glad that we started logging the lake when we did and it was a valuable demonstration of the importance of tracking what you love using the eOceans platform. And that brings me to you and the role you can play in tracking your coastlines, the ones that you love, lakes, rivers, coastlines, and the oceans. Let the organizations that make decisions in your area know about how eOceans works and how they can use it to collaboratively track your valued aquatic ecosystems. In the meantime, you can start grabbing your personal baseline of your own coastline by logging your observations in the eOceans mobile app. Follow me while you're there so we can each see what's happening in different parts of the world because we can all learn from each other. If you're on your mobile device, you can get started by downloading the eOceans app on iOS or Android. You can join on your desktop by eOceans.app or you can learn more about eOceans science at eOceans.org and say hi through any of the regular social media channels. You can keep learning about eOceans tools and science by watching these two or many other videos in our channel. eOceans, for the ocean, for us.